And now, a world premiere movie. She had it all. Family, caring friends, promising future. And then... Don't touch me. It strikes without warning. I couldn't get away from the voices. Devastating her family. I don't want to be sick anymore. Nancy McKeon, the victim with nowhere to turn. We want you to stay here because we love you. What? Valerie Harper, with only a mother's love to fight back. I won't let you go. Nicole! Strange Voices, next. Don't. It's just an excuse to come back and eat a 2,000 calorie breakfast. <laughs> How you doing, Kenny? What's happening, Nikki? When's the big day? August 20th. You gonna be there to give me away? Are you kidding? Have a big scene planned for the Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace part. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't joke about it. I had this nightmare that all his old girlfriends picketed the church. Where are you guys off to? We're going to pick up Sarah and we're gonna choose a silver pattern. Kenny and Sarah insisted that I come. Uh -huh. I heard that. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Come on. Pick him up and put him down. Be careful, please, huh? Come on. Think we're making too much food? No. Nah. Listen, it's good to eat a big, hearty breakfast once in a while. I bet you don't get to do that too often at school. Yeah, only when I stay at Jeff's. He makes these huge Midwestern feasts. I think I just blundered into one of those forbidden topics. Look, I'm hip. I'm today, I'm now, and I'm, I'm 80s. I'm also still your mother. So, I reserve the right to be totally irrational about some matters. <laughs> and yet you quite rationally advised Helen Boardman not to overreact when Kenny wanted to move in with Sarah. That's completely different. Why, because he's a guy and I'm a girl? No, because he's her kid, you're mine. Dad. What, what? Can you call me? No. Oh, my God, it's alive. I just set up the modem. Now I'm connected with every computerized buyer. They can call me up, place their orders directly through the terminal, even if I'm not here. Uh, more time to play hooky, huh? Yeah. Speaking of which, I'd like to be on the road within an hour or two. Breakfast almost ready? Nikki. Huh? Is breakfast almost ready? I'd like to get to the lake before canoe rush hour. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go wake up loose. Luck. Luis? 
Lisa. Time to wake up and feed your little face. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I didn't know you were asleep. Nikki. No, please, don't beg. Never do encores. Oh, my God. I am so worn out from last night. From babysitting? From babysitting two future hitmen for the mob. I can't stand those kids. Well, bear your cross over to the bathroom. Mom and Dad have a whole day in store for us at the lake. Hey, Phantom. Aw, oh, Dave, honey, don't wave in every shot. I've got sound with this new camera. You can talk now. What should I say? Oh, anything. You know, just be yourself. Come on. Share your barbecue secrets with the world. Well, I only have one secret. Don't burn them. All right. Okay. Here, wait, wait, wait. Come on. I know this one. Give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. That's, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. I do have a natural talent. Yes, it shows. <laughs> Is that your audition piece for Rochester? It's great. You nervous? Don't be. You're a cinch to get in. Thanks. I wish we take a picture. It'd last longer. Who, them? I keep staring. I wish. The blonde one is a babe. Nikki, can I ask you something? Um... Do you think that most girls going into college have, you know, like, <laughs> had, like, a major sexual experience? It's not an entrance requirement, if that's what you mean. I know. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel, like, sexually retarded or something. <laughs> Everybody I know has already done it. Well, don't believe everything you hear. And even if it is true, don't worry. Who cares? Just do what's best for you. Karen did it with this football player, and she said it was, like, terrible. It didn't even last 30 seconds. 30 seconds? How romantic. <laughs> it's not that way with you and Jeff, is it? And then, and then you know what I do? I feed them <laughs> to my voracious daughters. Oh, no. Watch out. Mom's wired for sound oh, now, too. Great. Oh, Dad, these look delicious. Mm. And good thing, too, because we're extremely voracious. <laughs> oh, you guys. Come on, yeah. eat, eat. That building is so beautiful. Almost makes me wish I was small enough to live in there. <laughs> Sweetheart, we got a long drive ahead of you tomorrow back to school. Shouldn't you be getting to bed? Yeah. Just wanted to finish the detailing on this lobby entrance. You know, so many buildings, you walk in and you get lost. You see here, the curve of the walls kind of draws you towards the receptionist. The dimensions are human. I don't have to skulk in like a rat down a narrow corridor or get lost in a space that makes you feel insignificant. I even have an arboretum. See? Nature in the workspace. Even without these little trees, you deserve an A-plus for this. Oh, it's not for class. The School of Architecture sponsors a design contest each year, and undergraduates are allowed to submit. What surprise? 500 bucks. Some notoriety, feather in my cap. Another one? <laughs> Good night, Pocahontas. Save me a penthouse suite. <laughs> Do I have to be a book during a place on this bed? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. You know, Edison already invented the camera. All you have to do is use it. I have to use it well, or people won't pay me for my work. You've been using it well for years. <laughs> no. David, really, I'm, I'm good at portraits, but I got a lot to learn about the video camera. Oh, speaking of which, did you put the cost analysis program into your computer? Huh? Why don't I get the terminal and bring it back in here? Double check. There's a little room left on the edge of the bed. Funny, but did you or didn't you? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you very what is much. this, a major corporation? Uh, don't be silly. I'm weeks away from that. Oh, this 
in the beginning is just a part-time occupation. I thought I was your occupation. You, my darling, are my hobby. <laughs> All right. I didn't miss a meaningful life passage here, did I? Hmm? I mean, all this flurry wouldn't have anything to do with Nikki going back to school and Lisa's college applications, would no, it? No, 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 no. I... Long ago, I resigned myself to the fact that I would grow old and abandoned. Okay. That's it. That's what? Hey, David! I'm closing Hi. this branch of the library. <laughs> what? And then... I'm gonna give a lonely old woman a memory to carry with her into her twilight years. <laughs> What luck! <laughs> ah, there's books here. You were the big one. I made you some sandwiches for the trip. Mom, it's a two-hour drive. Yeah, but you might get hungry. Or decide to open a snack bar. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Drive carefully now. I will, Dad. I... Call me, okay? I will. And hey, forget about all that other stuff. Just concentrate on your audition, all right? Oh, uh, what other stuff? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> the reason there's so many sandwiches is some of them are for Jeff. He likes egg salad, right? Yes, he loves egg salad. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Do you think if Spinoza had known that he was going to bore generations of college students to death, he would have just kept his big mouth shut? Huh? This stream of consciousness study just isn't working for me. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, oh, about time for a break, isn't it? Come on, you've had two cups of coffee and gone to the bathroom three times in the last ten minutes. I, I can't help it. It's the coffee. Study. Study. <sighs> You know, you're quite beautiful when you're peevish and ill-tempered. Yeah, well, I know that. Tell me something I don't know. Well, I know that. Yeah. I know that, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's new. <laughs> Where's Jenny? Why? Well, I just don't want her popping in on us, that's all. So are you going to stop by my place after class? Yeah, but I got a lot of work to do. We may have to pull an all-nighter after last night. <laughs> <laughs> Guilt. I want to go get some tweet. I'll see you guys later. I'll go with you. Bye. No, you <laughs> can't. Yes? Well, if you're using derivatives to solve the problem and you're not going to use Pascal's theorem, then why do you need... Why do you need what?
Hurry up. Well, I don't know. She's uh, she's packing now. Yes. Hey, Nikki, what are you doing? You know very well what I'm doing. Nikki, shut up. You think I don't know about you two? What? I know everything. What are you talking they about? They told me everything. Nikki, you disgust me. Wait, wait a minute. I don't know how I could have been so stupid to trust either one of you. Wait, Nicole, wait, Nicole, stop. Nikki, Nikki. You make me sick, both of you. Honey, maybe it was just a friendly kiss. Oh, please. They've been doing a lot more than kissing. I've heard all about it. Heard from whom? I can't believe those guys. I mean, how low? Boy, this is a surprise. I mean, it just doesn't sound like Jeff. Nikki, those are clean. I know. Look, I just got to stay here for a few days and get my head together. I have to figure a few things out. Of course, baby. Yeah. That's good. Don't you dare let him in here. Okay, I won't let him in, Nikki, but he's standing here. At least let me have... Oh, I want what he has to say. Nikki, I... I can't let you in. Why? She won't see you. She won't talk to me? to be alone. Why didn't you answer me? Didn't hear you. Oh. Well, I'm going out to pick up some blank cassettes. I thought you might like to come along. Honey, you have to stop dwelling on this thing with Jeff. Yeah. You know we're having your dad's sales rep dinner tonight? Why don't you have dinner in your room if you don't want to be with all those business people? I don't mind. Good. Anyway, a lot of the neighbors are coming. You'll have someone to talk to. Karen, don't you? And this is Mrs. Linden. She moved in next door to the Boardman's. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Lisa's told me all about you. What did she say? Oh, all good things, of course. You know, she babysits my two little boys. At least I hate your children. <laughs> She's kidding. She's kidding. Oh, hey, that's some sales pitch. What? You're on for Kenny's wedding. Oh, really? Are you expensive? I don't know. You're my first customer. Lynn Glover, chronicler of special events. Hi, you baby. He tried the it. It worked this time. Hi, Nikki. Hi, you baby. Hi, Nikki. I thought she went back to school. Oh, she did, but she just drove back for the party. I think she's a little tired from the trip. You tired, sweetheart? You tired, sweetheart? You tired, sweetheart? Nikki, how could you do that to me? Nikki, how could you you're still here. Come on, I want you to meet Sarah. Nikki, Sarah, Nikki, Nikki. Come on, I want you to meet Sarah. Nikki, how could you do that to me? Come on, let's go. Nikki, how could you do that to me? Come on, I want you to meet Sarah. Nikki, how could you do that to me? Come on, I want you to meet Sarah. Nikki, how could you do that to me? Let me go! 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 Let me go!
Please, 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 darling. Come on. I don't want you to stay here. Please. No. Yes, no. please. No. Please, honey. Come on, darling. Come on, get her. Yes, yeah, do. Stay with, with Lisa. Do it again. Watch your head. Watch your head. Okay, okay. No, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. All right, honey. Nobody's going to hurt you. Please, please. Why do you want to hurt me? When your sore throat is slow torture, chloroseptic spray is fast relief. How fast? So fast, she'll feel relief even before we can finish this commer- When it's cold and rough outside, Try something warm and creamy inside. Cream of wheat hot cereal and instant mix and eat. Their smooth texture always lets the flavor come through. Two great ways to come in from the cold. She's gotta walk that set to music. A so sexy, silky smooth. She's a no-nonsense kind of woman. You gotta watch her every move. No nonsense Sharon Silky has the same silky look and feel of some department store pantyhose at nowhere near the price. Her legs steal the show, but it's never an act. And if you whistle it, huh, she might whistle back. No nonsense. Well, if the attitude fits, wear it. Toyota is celebrating 30 years in America with money saving packages of options on new 88 models. Grand savings up to $1,000 on MR2. Tercel up to $335. Corolla FX up to $694. Camry up to $555. Celica up to $450. Cressida up to $600. Supra up to $610. Come on in. Unwrap a package and save. Why waste time with slow working oven cleaners? Make it easy on yourself. Original heavy duty easy off oven cleaner works up to 40% faster than those other brands. Make it easy on yourself. With easy off. I have seen these symptoms in many patients, and I'm telling you, they indicate schizophrenia. And I'm telling you that my daughter does not go around talking to herself with different voices. No, Mr. Glover, what you're talking about is split personality. That's very rare behavior. And despite what you've seen in movies, that is not a symptom of schizophrenia. And one of the major symptoms is hearing voices. Your daughter told me that she heard voices coming from your computer. The terminal is on all the time. She could have heard the sound of the printer. Nicole has been under tremendous pressure lately, really a lot of stress. She and her boyfriend, Jeff, had a terrible argument. She pushes herself real hard at school, and doctor never, never in her life has she ever behaved like she did tonight. Never. Schizophrenic symptoms often occur quite suddenly, and usually among young adults. That's quite a pitch, Doc. Mr. Mary, I haven't made enough sales Please today. Stop it, Mr. Glover, I do not need your daughter to be sick to make a decent living, and I hope to God I'm wrong about my diagnosis. You are. Doctor, could it be drugs? It's very unlikely. The symptoms are pretty clear. But I would like to observe Nicole for a few days. We're trying to find a bed. No way! She's out of here tonight! Wait a minute. We're going to talk no, about... Come on, get David, out. you're acting... Babe! Can we at least talk about this? Enough talk! I'm taking her home! Oh, Mr. Glover, your daughter did bodily harm to herself tonight. I can keep her here without your permission. Try it. Nikki? Nicole? Oh, yes, yes. We're here. We're both here. You're fine now. Everything's going to be fine, baby. I want to go home. Yes, baby.
Yes. We're all going home now. I'll release her. But only if you agree to give her the medication I prescribe and you guarantee me that she will get the correct follow-up care. What happened? Is she all right? Yes, Lisa, she's much better. Yeah. Why didn't you call me? I was so worried. I know, sweetheart. We just had our hands full. We couldn't get to a phone. I'm sorry. Nikki, are you all right? What is the matter with her? Nothing's the matter with her. She's just sedated. She looks weird. Don't ever let me hear you say that again. I'm so sorry, Mom. Oh, come on, honey. It's all right. I know, I know, but it's all over. It's all over. I don't want to go back there. You're home. You're going to stay right here. You have to get some rest, OK? We're going to have you all better before you know it. Oh, don't cry, sweetheart. I know. Would you like us to stay in the room with you for a little while? Go to sleep. Sorry I woke you. No, that's all right. I'm in and out. I hear every sound. I heard the paper boy through the paper for the last three blocks. Nikki, I was so scared. I know, me too. I don't know what happened. Just suddenly all the voices in the living room got so loud. So loud that I couldn't understand what anybody was saying. People would talk to me and I knew I was supposed to talk back, but I couldn't because I couldn't understand them. So I panicked. I couldn't get away from the voices. They wouldn't go away. No, I'm fine now, really. Really? Yeah. Look, I know what the doctor said to Mom and Dad, but it's not true. What's that? <laughs> that I'm a little cracked. It's not true. I didn't make any of this stuff up. It happened. I really heard it. Could I uh, grab a soda? Sure. My mouth is so dry. Okay. You can't go back to school yet, honey. We want to make sure you feel perfect. I do. The only thing that's making me feel off is this medicine. I mean, every time I start to feel better, I have to take another pill, and it's just slowing me down. They're preventing me from getting better. Nicole, you're not getting off the medication. If this is a thing that's stabilizing your condition. Mom, I don't have a condition. And I'm so stabilized, I'm vegetating here. Then listen to her, will you? We're not insiders. She's the only one who knows how she feels. Dave, please. Or at least let me go back to school. There's so much I have to do. I miss my friends. Miss Jeff. The longer I wait, the harder it's going to be. Should be fine. Welcome back. Thanks. Look, I'm really sorry. 
You know, I could just go and stay at Jeff's. Don't be silly. I missed you. So how do you feel? I'm fine. I feel fine. Great. Here, let me help you with that. You probably feel like you've been gone forever, but you really haven't missed much. And I can give you my notes on social tenor and history of art, okay? Thanks. I really am sorry. Listen, forget it. It's over now, okay? Right. Dad found out that I flunked my physics midterm. <laughs> he hit the roof. You know, it's my fault. I should have been there for you. I could have helped you study. Right, and I suppose you're responsible for my IQ, too. I upset you. I took your mind off your work. I'm really sorry. Would you stop it? Dad's right. I've been jerking around this whole semester. You know, it was the medicine. They, they just kept giving me these pills. I just kept getting worse. Yeah, but that was after. You weren't taking the medication before you got sick. No, because I threw them away. What do you mean? I threw them all away. Oh. So you're going to pick me up after class, right? Yes. I told you three times. You're stuck with me, kid. What Brancusi urges you to do with this sculpture is not just look, but feel. Not to resist temptation, but to... Music on. I need the music to concentrate. I have to block out the voices. Well, there are no voices now. It's quiet. And Don't! I have to keep this to block out the voices. My name's not mentioned once in this book. Look, Frank Lloyd Wright, Soriano, Paul Laszlo. Not Jeff. once. Great. Could you get over here right away? I think Nikki's freaking out. Hurry. Who are you calling? Um, it was nobody. I can hear you. I can hear everything. I know you're in touch with them. That's how they know so much about me. That's why I have no privacy. Nicole, where are you going? Why? So you can call them on the radio? Nicole! Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me. Nicole!
I'm a baker, but I've never seen this before. Pillsbury soft breadsticks. Crispy outside, soft inside. With spaghetti. I'm absolutely bare. My face doesn't have a stitch on. And it looks and feels better than ever. Because before I put anything on, I cleanse and moisturize with nothing but Alme. Because Alme is nothing, is really something. It's hypoallergenic and fragrance free. Then I dress up my face with Alme's fresh, natural looking foundation. Alme, everything you want, and nothing you don't. To see how a bathroom gets this shiny clean, you have to go back to the beginning. To new formula Lysol Basin Tub and Tile Cleaner. Lysol has the power to cut through dirt and soap scum, and it disinfects. Try new fresh scent Lysol. It's how the shiniest bathrooms get their start. You could give me the San Diego Bay full of ordinary air fresheners, and I will not take them for the one can of Lysol spray. Ordinary air fresheners just cover up the odors and fake you out. And why have that when you can have Lysol spray that kills germs on the surface and cleans the air? Lysol has a distinct odor of clean. It cleans the air. Your doctor has a new treatment that may help prevent a heart attack. Studies with people who've had a heart attack or unstable angina show aspirin helped reduce their risk of a second heart attack. Ask your doctor about diet, exercise, and aspirin. This message from Bayer, the wonder drug that works wonders. Burger King introduces the Bullseye Barbecue Burger, two flame broiled burgers with cheese and bacon topped with a western style barbecue sauce. The Bullseye Barbecue Burger. Get it while you can at Burger King, the best food for fast times. NBC Monday Night at the Movies will return following these messages. Tuesday, a young cop puts his career on the line to save a woman from the streets. Did you blow the steak up because of some hooker? Tough man, I want to play. You can't handle a woman like that. I need your help. She's in so deep, only a cop can save her. Where is she? Acting like a fool. No badges. No guns. Just us. I never knew an attraction so fatal. Crime Story, Tuesday. It was Portland's very first radio station. But then 62 KGW's always been a bit ahead of its time. I'm picking up good vibrations. I'm backing up. She came in through the bathroom window. Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids. Different stuff for different Billy Martin is back at 11. Strange Voices continues, starring Nancy McKeon and Valerie Harper. In addition to hearing voices, Nicole is now exhibiting a symptom called thought broadcasting. This behavior is an almost certain indication of schizophrenia. She's always been... Perfect, perfect child. Oh, what is the cure? There is no cure. What do you mean? There, there's no cure? Schizophrenia is a physical disorder, a chemical imbalance in the brain. Drugs can sometimes compensate for this imbalance. They cannot cure it. Doc, you're not leaving as much hope here. Sometimes the symptoms disappear as suddenly as they appear. That is the hope. I want you to have that. Well, what is the first step? We will test Nicole's reaction to various psychotropic drugs oh, and evaluate her behavior for as long as we can keep her here. We will leave her here just as long as you need her to be here. By law, we may not keep a patient more than 72 hours if that patient refuses to stay and Nicole is already asking to leave. The only way we can keep her longer is through what is called a probable cause hearing, a commitment hearing. Will Nikki be in the same room? Yes. So she'll see us arguing against her. Well, hopefully she'll understand that you're doing this because you care about her. The court-appointed referee will try to determine if Nikki is presently a danger to herself or others. If Nicole were to leave here today, would she be allowed to come home with you? 
We believe she will receive better care here in the hospital. Mrs. Glover, I think you understood the question. Yes. Um, then, uh, no, she cannot come home with us. What? Honey, we want what's best for you. We want you to be well. You don't want me anymore? No, baby, that's not the truth. We want you to get all better before you come home. That's all. Sweetheart, we love you. And we want you to stay here because we love you. Please, I'll stay up in my room. I'll just stay upstairs in my room. I won't bother anybody. Nicole, if you were allowed to leave the hospital today and you could not go home with your parents, what would you do? Nicole has told me that she has several thousand dollars in a bank account. Nicole. Um. I could go to the bank. Get a hotel room. What if the bank was closed? Um. Uh. That's all right, Nicole. You don't have to answer. I think it would be better if you stayed in the hospital for just two weeks. Would you do that, Nicole? No. I don't want to stay here. Very well. I won't force you. What? What? You gonna let her leave just like that? Mrs. Glover, your daughter has rights. The right to keep getting sicker and sicker without treatment, without supervision. The right to kill herself. To my mind, Nicole does not pose a threat to herself or to others, nor is she incapable of providing for her basic needs. What if you're wrong? Well, then you'll have to present that new information to the court at a later time. You expect us to put our daughter through this again? I'm very sorry. I understand your feelings. Do you? Thinking back over all the things I may have done to have caused this. Like I remember that I, uh, I drank uh, champagne at my baby shower. That is so silly. I know that's silly. But uh, that's logic. Emotion tells me it's my fault. She is my child. Everything that happens to her is my responsibility. Mrs. Glover. <laughs> you must forgive yourself for what you consider to be your mistakes with Nicole. Not one of them contributed to her condition. Stop torturing yourself with guilt. You have to be strong and whole to cope with the demands this disease will make of you. Nikki, you have to take your medication. I'm not taking it. It's making me sick. It's killing me. Nikki, honey, no. It is making you better. No, it's not. Oh, it's you're me. quiet, huh? Nikki. Now calm down, relax. I am turning to stone. Every time I start to feel something, you give me another pill and I turn to but stone. You have to take I'm sorry. I'll wait outside. Well, look who's here. It's touchdown, Karen. Nikki, 
Does your mommy know you're making it with the football team? Stop it, Nicole! <sighs> Karen! Uh, just for a second there. Sorry. It's okay. I took my pills. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I know I upset you and I don't mean to. It's just sometimes I feel so bad so confused it's like I've lost something and I can't find it no matter how hard I try when I'm feeling bad and I hear all those voices I get scared because I feel like I'm losing control of my mind and I can't tell what's real and what isn't and when I feel good, I get scared. Because I don't know when it's going to happen again. Or if I'll lose control completely and never come back. I don't want to leave you. I hear all these voices calling my name. And the only voice I want to hear is yours. The voices are going to get so loud that I'm not going to be able to hear you calling me. I'll make sure you hear me. Nikki, I will not let you go. I won't let you go. I won't let you go. Leave me alone. Jury tampering is a felony. Well, you have a tamper with me. Yet. A defense attorney, a juror, brought together by a murder. If he did it, I'm going to vote guilty. But if he's innocent, I don't want that on my conscience. By a mystery. Something was in there. And Elizabeth Quinn found it. What's the connection? By a suspect. Did you kill Elizabeth Rose Quinn? Cher, Dennis Quaid. <laughs> suspect, rated R. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Why is this man breathing like he left us cold at someone else's house? Taking the time to read a book instead of reaching for a tissue. Relaxing in his favorite chair with muscles that no longer ache. Laughing instead of coughing. Resting instead of suffering. Why? Because instead of taking a cold tablet, he took NyQuil. A nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. Now a new cherry flavor, too. Like to play detective? Here's a case for you. The case of the missing calcium. Think cornflakes has calcium? Oh, I'm sorry, there's none there. The shredded wheat? Mm, foiled again. Of all these cereals, only one has calcium. Total. It makes perfect sense. The one that gives you 100% of nine vitamins and iron is also the only one that's a major source of calcium. So, if you're trying to track down more calcium like I am, the place to look is obvious. Total. Faithfully, Honda has been number one in customer satisfaction, number one in import owner loyalty, number one for the money. Introducing new Faithful, the new Honda Civic Hatchback, one of the lowest priced wonders in America. You can count on it. NBC Monday Night at the Movies will return following these messages. I'm Jane Pauley. Tomorrow morning on Today, the latest on the Persian Gulf. I'm Maria Shriver, also Christopher Lambert and George Harrison. That's tomorrow morning on Today. This is News 8. Update.
Good evening, I'm Tracy Berry. And I'm Pete Schulberg. Coming up tonight at 11 on News 8, evacuations continue tonight near Dallas, Oregon, as fires burn out of control on dry land. We'll update all the local fires. Investors are still reeling from today's dramatic fall of the stock market, but analysts say the impact won't be as bad as in 1929. Agencies that operate homeless shelters in the area join forces to plan for overflow crowds. And have you noticed Mount St. Helens is calmed down? We'll tell you what's up. And now this. Four-time champion Jeff Wilson will be going for his fifth time on the next on the spot. Are you ready? Ready. Larry. All right. We'll see if he can do it. Weeknights at 6.30 on Channel 8. Also tonight, a pumpkin with a family resemblance. Very scary indeed. Plus, he's back. Billy Martin is managing the Yankees again. Join us for all the news at 11. Hey, you're going to love this. Now you can get great food offers at McDonald's with free Mac tonight cards. The good for all kinds of great food offers at your next visit at McDonald's. Whether it's at breakfast, lunch, or my favorite, dinner. Listen, with these Mac tonight cards, you want to come back and try for some great food offers tonight, tomorrow, the next day. When you taste the diet sensation, you could win a club vacation. The antidote for civilization is one great taste away. Hey! Diet Pepsi! Club Med Vacation! Enter today to win one week Club Med Vacations for two for the next six years. Enjoy the Diet Pepsi sensation to win a Club Med Vacation. See store displays to win Club Med Vacations from Diet Pepsi with 100% NutraSweet. Competing to ship grain. A special report tomorrow at 5. Strange Voices continues, starring Nancy McKeon and Valerie Harper. Where you been? I was on the road. Till 1 a.m.? Was with a client, okay? Well, you could have called Dave, you know. I waited dinner for you. All right, then. <sighs> oh, come on. I don't want to fight. I don't. I just missed you, that's all. Nikki spoke to me tonight. And it was almost as if she were well again. And, and then a few hours later, she was talking to herself. It's so... <laughs> it's so hard to watch. You know, it's like... She comes up for air for a few seconds and then gets pulled back under. I can't it, deal with this anymore today, honey. I'm leaving. How's it going? My razor blade knife wasn't in the drawer. Have you seen it? I think I put that away somewhere. Well, I, I needed to cut the siding. It's all I have left to do, and I really wanted to finish it for the contest. I'll find it for you.
talking my ear off. But I think I'll make the sale soon. About an hour or so. Don't wait up for me. Me too. Bye. They said she can come home in a couple hours. Is Dr. Austin here? Please. Isn't it a little late for you to be saving the day? Everything's already been taken care of anyway. I told you I had to work late. Mm, yeah, the midnight business meeting. Oh, will you just get off my back and tell me what happened? She had a seizure. It's what happened. They said it was a side effect from her pills. But she's been taking the same medication all along, hasn't she? Yes, yes. And the side effects don't always happen right away, see? So now they have to start experimenting with new drugs. And they, they have no idea which one's going to work. You mean this could happen again? You know, I have been all through this with the doctor. I don't feel like recapping for latecomers. Mom, please. Lisa, stay out of this. Don't, don't you take it out on her. You should have been there, David. You should have, you should have been here. Take it in the kitchen. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me. Just calm down, honey. Try and give them to her again. I know. I know. I, look, I'll be home soon. All right? Bye-bye. Lynn, is something wrong? No, no, it, it, it's nothing important. I, but you know I have to leave. I, I'm oh. sorry. Lynn, I'm your friend. You can talk to me. I want to help. Helen. You did what? I confided in a friend. Oh, a friend? Don't be naive, Lynn. She's probably been on the phone to everybody in town. As if people don't already know. They don't know anything specific until you tell them. And you did. I needed someone to talk to. I know you think I'm made of steel, but I am not. You think you're going to get sympathy from people about this? You think people are going to say, oh, poor Lynn and Dave. How could anything like this happen to them? Well, they're not. They're going to take it, they're going to turn it, and use it against us. Do you really believe that? Yes! Are you that ashamed? Yes. This is a family matter. I don't want you announcing it to the neighborhood. We'll deal with it ourselves. How? You refuse to even talk to me about it. <sighs> How are we going to deal with it? Answer me that. How do we deal with it? Come on, Nicole. I gotta eat something. Now, you told me you wanted eggs. Can I talk to you both for a second? Sure, honey. I have to buy a dress for the Rochester audition. I want to get something dressy but simple. I thought I had enough saved up, but I think I'm a little bit short. I gotta go. Mom, could you pay the difference? And help me pick something out? Are you listening to me? What? Yes, Lisa. We just can't handle a new dress just now. That, that's, that's all, honey. Uh, wear your white lace. You look real sweet in that. Why don't you watch what you're doing? Stop it, Lisa. She just does it to get I attention. said enough.
I could help you look for a dress. If you want. God, it looks great. So do you. Thanks. I'm glad you came. I missed you. I think about you a lot. I missed you too. I would have stopped by sooner, but I just didn't know if... No, I, I know. I understand. I'm aware, you know. I'm aware of the things that have happened. I'm not out of it all the time. I'm the same person. I just have a problem now. I know. But you're getting better and better. Yeah. My hair all right? Yeah, it's perfect. Jenny told me to give you her love. So, my mom, help me with it. It just feels kind of stiff, though. No, it, it looks terrific. It just feels so stiff. I just I feel like I'm turning to stone. No, Nikki. You look beautiful. You look so beautiful. Just leave us alone. Calm down a bit. Oh. I got a little surprise for you. Please, no more surprises today. Not even a nice one. Dinner at the Long Wharf. Glass of wine, stroll along the boardwalk. Can't leave Nikki. Lisa can take care of Nikki for one evening. You and I got to be together, just the two of us. I think you're tempted. God knows you're tempting. Come on. Mm -mm. Oh, Let really? me show you my good side for a change. You do remember I got a good Barely. side. Barely. Well, let me refresh your memory.
Have your contact lenses gotten so uncomfortable you feel like trashing them? Well, don't. Give them a bath in Optizyme Weekly, and they'll feel comfortable again. Optizyme from Alcon. We can help you love your lenses. Chicken little, stop. Come and go with me. Chicken little, stop. Only at KFC. Chicken little, stop. Come and go with me. Kentucky Fried Chicken's new chicken little sandwiches. They cost just a little, but people love them a lot. Come and go with me. Still driving that Hyundai, huh, big guy? Yep. Did you notice the machine I bought? No. Oh, man. I'm talking sexy. I mean, fight off the female sexy car. Where is it? Oh, it's uh, in the shop right now. Oh. The Hyundai Excel isn't built to impress the neighbors. It's built to impress its owners. Uh, we wouldn't be heading downtown, huh, Rika? The dependable Excel from Hyundai. Cars that make sense. What is the problem? The new machine is acting up. Up the bars are bigger. They are bigger. What do you suggest? As your immediate supervisor, I need to tell you the procedure. Call the boss. That's correct. You should only know how much he likes that machine. It's his baby. Rules are rules. Call the boss. Correct. You know, he dedicated that machine to his mother. I think you were on vacation. He loves her very much. Uh, any suggestions? Introducing Bigger Mounds and Bigger Almond Joy. The chocolate's bigger, the coconut's bigger, everything's bigger. It's the Battle of the Rosies. This Rosie's got the big towel. This Rosie's got the quicker one. Bounty. And they're off. The Rosie! Bounty is the quicker picker-upper. See? I'm going to change my towel, Rosie. But not your name, Rosie. Tuesday, a homicidal housewife reveals a secret. Her husband was a bigamist. Bigamist, huh? A bigger mystery when a multi-married man is murdered. This whole thing is kind of spooky. The return of Matlock. Then cheers Kelsey Grammer fakes his murder to commit another. My, I am clever. Dale Robertson unravels the ultimate murder suspense. You go. J.J. Starbuck, Tuesday. Remember the kids from 8 is Enough? Chariot. Roman. Lollipop. Sucker. Well, they're all grown up and they're playing Super Password all this week. No, no, I, I only have a minute. I wanted to apologize to you for yesterday. If I seemed impolite, it was because I was so upset and embarrassed. Of course. I mean, I understand. I, I don't think about it, please. Thanks for being so understanding. Well, I better go. I bet you have a million things to do for the wedding Sunday, huh? You don't remind me. Oh, right. <laughs> Listen, Lynn, you're still planning on bringing your video camera, aren't you? You bet. Great. I'm counting on you. Uh, Lynn... Listen, you're not planning on bringing Nikki to the ceremony, are you? I mean, it's such a special day for Kenny and Sarah. That must have sounded terrible, didn't it? Yeah, Helen, it did. But you know what I mean, don't you? Sure, I know. I just cannot believe that you actually asked me. We had no intention of bringing Nikki to the wedding. She's not well enough. But you know what I think would be good? None of us will come to the wedding. And thanks for being so understanding. Lynn! Nicole! Karen's. You were supposed to be 
looking after your sister. I was only gone for a few minutes. And do you see what can happen in just a few minutes? She could have been killed. It's not my fault. She it did. It is your fault. She was your responsibility. No, she's yours. She's your crazy daughter, Shut not up. mine. Stop that. Crazy. Shut up. Shut up. Do you hear me? <laughs> How did I feel? I felt like I should have been able to save her from this, but I couldn't. I felt like I had given up on her, that I admitted she had no future, no future at all. We convinced ourselves this was a decent place. After all, what choice did we have? You begin to lie to yourself when you run out of alternatives. And then I felt rotten because I kept thinking about the money. Now that the insurance is gone, that's all I think about. It's one thing to pay for a college education, that's an investment. But to pay for a place like this for your child, for a living tomb, I kept looking at her and wondering if she understood what we were doing to her and hated us for it. And then when I brought her suitcase into the bedroom, she gave me the most pitiful look as if all of her fears were being confirmed. And we were, after all, abandoning her. We made her this way and now we were punishing her for it. You really believe that? No. That's what Nikki said. Look, Doc, I really gotta get going. I'm doing this for Lynn's sake. Frankly, I don't see the point. It doesn't help Nikki that much. Maybe in the long run, it will. That's a little too subtle for my mind. Maybe you should worry less about Lynn and me. Work a little bit harder to make Nikki better. I blame myself too, Mr. Glover. I feel guilty because I am part of a psychiatric community that has largely shunned schizophrenia and its victims because we feel powerless in the face of it. Nicole, you didn't come down for your pill this morning. It doesn't want to be. Nicole. Right. Look. Nicole, don't make me force you. Why they send me. Well, Nikki, you have to take your pills. You just do, honey. Come on, please. For Dad and Mom. So you'll get better. And it was funny. They give you pills that make you feel numb. And you don't want to do anything. And they get mad at you because you don't want to do anything. So they try and give you more pills. Well... Sweetheart, we know the pills are, are not perfect. They make you sluggish, but they also make you think more clearly. They do. They make you less confused, don't they? You know, this little bird that plays in the yard every day. I think it's the same bird. And I look at him. Sometimes I look at him so hard, I, I feel like I'm getting out of my body and becoming that little bird. And I feel so light and so happy. And then I come back. I don't like feeling confused. But I'd rather feel confused than feel nothing at all. Look, how can anybody be expected? Look at this. Look, I'm gonna have to give a whole complaint about why 
why they send me a thing that won't even think it's impossible. Who can, who can even make this thing look decent? How can I make it look decent? How do they expect? Sergeant, please, try to understand my position. My daughter is mentally ill. She's out wandering the streets alone. She could be raped, or she could be killed for the few dollars she has in her purse. All right, well, sure, we'll call you if any of those things happen. Thanks a lot. David, come on. Come on, Dave, we're going to look for her ourselves. You all right? Your student here? I'm gonna have to ask you for your ID or you're gonna have to leave the premises. I want to check the park on 5th. No, I want to check these alleys first. We'll catch him on the way back. Would you let me drive if you are not going to look? I am looking. You think you're the only one who cares? Sometimes I wonder. You were the one who sent her away, not me. You know I can't handle her myself at home anymore. You know that. And what help are you anyway? I what work. Help? I work. You remember that, huh? To pay for all of this. Doctor's bills, the medicine, the boarding houses. All it is to you. Dollar signs. You worry about the mortgage payments and the collection agencies. I do. I just don't talk about it all the time like you do. Lynn, I am proud of you, miss.
Dave. Look. Nicole and Kenny, first kiss, April 9th, 1979. I never saw that. I don't think you were supposed to. I remember when all the little problems seemed so big. Boyfriends, braces, a broken collarbone. All the problems I could help resolve. Well, I can't help her solve this one. I'm learning to accept that. that I caused it. Dave, what are you saying? You know better than that. This is not our fault. Not yours, mine. I had an aunt, Aunt Lily. When I was a kid, my parents never let me see her, but I heard stories about her, about the way she was. When I was 12 years old, she killed herself. I didn't know. I didn't know it could have anything to do with me or the girls. And look what I've done to her. Dave. Dave, you didn't do this to her. Yes, I did. of Halloween, a vision of the most powerful evil of all, Prince of Darkness. Where are you? Rated R. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Laboratory tests prove in most devices, Energizer lasts longer than any other battery. New Energizer. Oi! Almond to light cereal tastes so good, people can't wait till morning. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Think about almond to light. All those crunchy almonds in each bite. That taste had me tossing it. Delight tonight. It tastes too good to wait till morning. If you have even the slightest doubt about trusting yourself with an entire Sara Lee cheesecake, now you can rest a little easier. Introducing our cheesecake snacks. Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. NBC Monday Night at the Movies will return following these messages. Thursday on L.A. Law. What kind of women go to auctions looking for a date? Arnie's up for grabs. $3,000! But could he be buying trouble? I paid $5,000 for this, and I intend to get my money's worth. And the Honorable Douglas Brackman takes over a real people's court. Oh, no! You're in contempt. L.A. Law, Thursday. 
This is News 8. Update. I'm Tracy Berry. And I'm Pete Schulberg. Tonight at 11, we'll have the latest from the volatile Persian Gulf. Iran has declared war on the U.S. President Reagan says that is ridiculous. We'll also find out how today's big stock market crash will affect the area's economy. It will be the end of the week before doctors will know just how much surgery will be necessary for little Jessica McClure. And multi-millionaire lottery winners show up to claim their prize back east while Oregon's goes unclaimed. Join us at 11. If you or someone you know is affected by schizophrenia, call the Alliance for the Mentally Ill in Portland at 228-5692. How much? Uh, what do you want to pay? Uh, 100 bucks? I got 100, do I hear 125? At some so-called discount stores, you have to wheel and deal to get a good price. But at Silo, we're having a sale right now on hundreds of TVs, appliances, and audio equipment. And we guarantee you'll get a great price without raising your voice or even your finger. Sold to the Lipta Lord for $200. <laughs> Let's go to Silo. There's no sale like a Silo sale. Northwest trains are shipping increasing loads of grain, but the barge industry may suffer as a result. Tomorrow, in a special report on Channel 8 News at 5, we'll take a close look at the competition within the shipping industry. Then, local companies are protecting themselves against corporate spies. We'll show you how investigators are being hired to check for wiretaps and bugs. The Channel 8 News team keeps you informed with in-depth stories and up-to-the-minute live reports. See for yourself tomorrow at 5 on Channel 8 News, the team that works for you. On the TV trail with Willie Nelson on Entertainment Tonight. Strange Voices continues, starring Nancy McKeon and Valerie Harper. Come on, David. Come on, go with me. What for? Maybe we'll learn something. Maybe we'll get to talk to people who are going through the same thing we're going through. I already know all I want to know about Please. it. And all of the talking and soul-searching in the world is not going to bring Nikki back. You know, this guy... Oh. Okay. Look, look. Right? Right. 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 You look lost. Oh, I am. I'm looking for the family support group. Oh, that's where I'm headed. Follow me. Oh, hi. I'm Mona. Lynn. She's been gone for over a week. I know so many families in the same situation. You do? Yes, unfortunately. About a third of the men and two-thirds of the women in the streets are schizophrenic. I call it de-institutionalization. you got to pay for it. I can eat in the dining hall anytime I want. It's part of my tuition. Lights are on, but nobody's home. And you think this was good? You ate two plates full. Hold on. Hold on, young lady. All right, come on, come on. Keep it moving. Let's go. Can you tell me your name? I can't think. It's just... It's too...
too much. It's, it's filling my head. Do you know why you're here? No. You don't have to be afraid. You're safe now. Can you tell me where you live? I just... I can't think. It's just... It's too fast. It's all right. It's all right. Just think one thought at a time. Think about your mother. Hear her calling your name. What's she calling you? After speaking with your doctor, we put her back on her medication, and her condition improved. She's much better than when she arrived. Will she remain stable now? Uh, I can't promise you that. Frankly speaking, it's anybody's guess. But she is safe now, and she's off the street. Now, being arrested is a blessing in disguise. Some parents pray for that. Is she free to go? Yes, they dropped the charges. Almost dry. Look how much better you look already. I bet you feel better, too. I know how you always like your hair clean and fresh. I do. Hi, Lisa. how you can just fall into bed without saying a word to her. I'm tired. You're the same way in the car. She has feelings, you know. She doesn't know the difference. She does. She does know the difference. She knows when someone's reaching out to her. She just has a problem reaching back, that's all. But not as much as you do. If you threw now... Shut off the light so I can get some sleep. You know, if you want to keep blaming yourself for this, against all reason, you can. But in the end, Dave, it's just another way of running away from the problem. Hi, Mom. Why didn't you tell me you'd been admitted to Rochester? This is just wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Oh, good going. Aren't you excited? What's the matter? I don't think I'm going to go. What do you mean? Why not? I know how worried you and Dad are about money. I don't want to add to your burden. Oh. That is so like you. Thank you, sweetheart. 
But you know what? Let Dad and me worry about the money. No. Yes, yes. Your only obligation is to, is to get in there and just develop your talent, your wonderful music. No. Yes. No, I've made the decision. But it's not your decision to make, Lisa. You're going to Rochester. That's it. It's my life. Yes, and you're going to have a wonderful life. A wonderful life. You hear me? I know what your music means to you. I know what it means to me. The lessons, the time, the effort, the... Lisa, I won't allow you to throw away your future. What future? To end up like Nikki? What is the point? Why bother? Honey. Lisa. This isn't gonna happen to you. It could happen to me, Mom. The neighbors treat me like it already happened. They won't even let me babysit their kids anymore. Because they're ignorant. They are ignorant, frightened people. But maybe it's true, Mom. I mean, this could happen to me. It happened to Nikki. It's genetic. This could happen to me or my children. But the chances are so slim. And besides, you can't live your life like that. You cannot give up something that you have always wanted for fear of something that may never, ever happen. You can't do that. Remember what Nikki's always said about making her models? You know, she used to say that a building is built idea by idea. That's how you, you build a life, moment by moment. I'll say this is a wonderful moment in your life. So don't miss it. Take it, Lisa. Please. Yeah, that's my girl. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> Isn't Nikki eating with us? She said she wanted to take a nap about an hour ago. I don't want to wake her. I'll check. See if she's up. Nikki. Nikki. This is a liquid bleach, and this is a bright pink. But don't worry, this is Liquid Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach. It's perfectly safe to pour on all your washable colors and get results that are absolutely striking. Try Liquid Clorox 2. Pamela Hall, top buyer around the world trips. You call your own shots. It's fun. <laughs> but weren't you just caught trying to call America from Paris? A silly misunderstanding. And by stuffing Greek drachma into a French foam? I thought they'd fit. Damn. You need the AT&T card. Oh? With the AT&T card, you never need coins, even overseas. Your calls are billed automatically to your phone back home. <laughs> Beautiful. So you'll take it, Pam? It's the perfect accessory. To get the AT&T card, dial 1-800-CALL-ATT. Luxury. Park legend. Pure pleasure. Still the biggest little city in the world. Reno. He says I'm a gorgeous blonde. I say I'm a smart blonde. 
He says my hair is the color of a pale golden jewel. I say, of course. I use Preference by L'Oreal. Preference color is translucent with subtle shadings. He says touching my hair is a sensuous experience. I say that's the preference difference. He says I'm worth it. I say the guy's no dummy. Performing preference from L'Oreal. The news is out. A diet high in fiber and low in fat may help reduce the risk of some kinds of cancer. And a lot of people have found that a good source of fiber is Campbell's bean and pea soups. They're delicious and have as much fiber per serving as many brand cereals. So if you want to get more fiber into your diet, get to the bottom of a bowl of Campbell's. At the bottom of it all, soup is good food. Campbell's. Next Monday, Darling. he said she was his only love and she knew he never lied. <laughs> Until one terrible day. Michael is dead. When she learned it was all a lie. Why didn't he tell me? And that the truth could kill her. <laughs> James Brolin leads an all-star cast into deep, dark secrets next Monday. Tuesday, a cop puts his career on the line to save a woman from the streets. You wanna play? He never knew an attraction so fatal. I need your help. Crime Story, Tuesday. It wasn't an accident. The voices didn't say to do it. I said it. I decided. I wanted to get away from it. Didn't want to hear the voices anymore, or have those thoughts in my brain. I just wanted it to be quiet, peaceful. And I did it. For Mom, my dad, and Lise. I knew I was hurting them and I wanted to stop while I was thinking clearly. I wanted it to stop before it got bad again. And then I woke up. It looked so sad. And I knew if I died, it would hurt them more than if I lived. How do you feel now, Nikki? I'm tired from the medicine. I'm depressed. But I think I understand better now. What is it? The voices. I just wish the voices would go away. Of course you do. Sometimes I think about the things I used to do used to be able to do. I understand. You'll do different things, new things, things to make you happy. You will. to feed her. There is a refrigerator full of food. Challenge yourself. What about her pills? Lisa knows. Why don't you just stay here and stop running around on another wild goose chase? Why don't you stay home for a change? You won't go with me. You don't want to take care of Nikki. What do you want, Dave? Don't you think it's time you made that decision? Look, good or bad, this is the only family you've got. And while you're deciding, while you're thinking over what it is that you want to do, I will be doing everything possible to make a decent life for our daughter. And I'll be damned if you or anybody else will talk me out of that.
And this is? This is our main activity room. It's wonderful. This is the best place I've seen. I don't want to get your hopes up about accepting her soon. We have a very long waiting list here. Oh, well, are there other centers like this? Very few. The funding simply isn't available. And those that do exist face the same problems we do. There just aren't enough beds. I know you worry about your daughter and probably feel guilty about not being able to keep her at home, but you shouldn't. It's a natural progression. A child, even a sick child, needs to leave the nest and find a peer group. Social interest and occupation. Here, people with schizophrenia can do all those things in a protective environment. I wonder, Gary, you know, uh, if it's good for her to be with other people with problems. And won't it just make her worse? What we found is that the healthier patients help the more dysfunctional patients. It doesn't pull them down. It's good for them. It makes them feel useful. It builds their confidence, gives them an opportunity to care for someone. To use emotional muscles that may have atrophied during their own illness. Well, that's all right. Lisa will be home soon. Nikki, wait. You want to help me with the salad? Okay. Everybody starts out working here at the house, and then they move up. You mean to jobs outside the center? Yes, that's the goal. Oh. What kind of jobs do they get? Well, we have a mechanic, a sales clerk, a bank teller, and there's my job. I'm planning to keep it for a while. How long have you been here? Two years, but I've been schizophrenic for ten. Are you surprised? No. Oh. Works every time. It doesn't matter. No, we have plenty of plates. No, oh, I break everything. I can't do anything right anymore. Honey, that's not true. You help me. You help me a lot. No, I mess everything up. No, baby, you make everything right. When you were away, I missed you so much. I almost stopped. I was so sad. Just being with you makes me happy. You're my little girl. And I, I really love you. I don't want to be sick anymore. For eight years, I went through the cycle. I'd live at home until my family couldn't handle the pressure anymore. Then I'd go to a board and care. After a while, I'd have a crisis, end up in the hospital, get drugged up real heavy and wind up back at home until my family couldn't handle the pressure anymore, over and over. And then I came here. See, Nicole could, Nicole could be like you. It can take years to get into a place like this and even longer to turn a life around. But it can happen. I'm back! Dave? Because you made it. Hi, honey. Hey. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Welcome home. You hungry? I was, but I lost my appetite as I passed through the kitchen. Oh, that. Oh, we can clean that up. No. No, no. Just don't move, okay? Please, I, I will be right back. Hold on.
I'll get it. Thanks. How is the center? Promising, but frustrating. How so? I saw some young people today, some who were as seriously ill as Nikki, who seemed to be finding some happiness, some fulfillment in their lives. I know Nikki will never have the future she might have had, but she can have a future. I saw that today. Then we'll make sure she gets in. That's the frustrating part. The waiting list is years long, and uh, there's no guarantee, even then. Years. When I think back over what we've been through this past eight months, Girls, just stay right where you are. Act natural. Oh, Lisa, don't wave, honey. Good. Yeah, great. Now, come on out. Nice. in a tough workout nearly every day. That's why I clean my clothes gently with Woolite Fine Fabric Wash. Gentleness is more important with frequent cleaning. So if I'm going to stay in shape, I think my clothes should too. I trust Woolite. Isotoner pantyhose. Tone your legs to keep you going nonstop. Makes my legs go on forever. Isotoner. Isotoner. Salon Selectives presents hair so beautiful, you feel like you've just stepped out of a salon. Salon shine. Salon Selectives. Salon glow. Salon Selectives. New Salon Selectives from Helene Curtis. Four salon shampoos, four salon conditioners. You select the combination that will give you salon beautiful hair. Salon style. Feel salon beautiful every day. Salon selectives. My country is a 200 years ago, our constitution was born. And with it, the promise that we, the people, could live in freedom as one nation. To capture the spirit of that precious promise, the United States Mint has created the official United States Constitution coins in silver or gold. Now and forever, hold on to the promise at Kmart, banks and savings and loans. Hey, Howard, all set? Everyone's waiting in the conference room. Gotcha. Presentation booklets just arrived from the printer. Super. Did you want them all stapled shut like that? Another senseless career crisis that could have been prevented simply by using PIP.
We've got a cure for the Monday Night Blues. Watch The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson as guest host Jay Leno welcomes actor James Brolin and Barbara Billingsley. Then for a nightcap of laughter, watch Late Night with David Letterman and Dave's guest comedian Red Fox. The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson and Late Night with David Letterman. It's late night fun until the